Anyway, sorry about that. The camera shut off on it by its own. I don't know what happened here. Maybe I'm running out, running out of battery or something. But anyway, there's more grapes back here. Look at this. Look at all that. Just hanging everywhere. And I uncovered all these leaves. I cut them all off so they can get sun. There we go. Look at those babies. Anyway, that's that. And then we have this that tomato plant still. I'm working by it. Let's walk get out of here. This, I'm done with the backyard. Then we got zinnias. I, I planted some seeds, zinnias seeds, and I forget what these are, but they're different kinds. And I can't remember what these are. But they, they're flowering out. They're pretty. They're not, they're not flowering on top yet. But anyway, look at this, you guys. Look at the corn. Let me stand back here so you can see it better. Holy. Look at this. Now the fence is four feet tall. And there you go. Give you an idea. And this is July the 21st. <laughs> Let me come out here and you can see it from another angle. Oops. I'm zigzagging. Look at the tassels on these. The other day I shook them so they all fell, started falling down so they could pollinate below all the husks. And uh, but look at that. Look at all the tassels. It's amazing. Jungle city. <laughs> I didn't thin these out. You can tell that. But then again, that can't be, it's not that bad. And then we have you can see it better over here, like this in the front. Oh my God. And I got two uh, butterf butterfly bushes over here in front of it. Not butterfly, but what am I saying? Uh, Mexican torch sunflowers. And I covered these up over here because the rabbits were getting the bottom of it. They were chewing the daggone plant. <laughs> and I, I managed to save these too. But these are amazing. This is really amazing. Let me stand back as so you can see it better. It is absolutely amazing. Anyhow, and then the rest of the yard over here is not about watermelons. Jubilee watermelons, look at those. There's a bunch of them growing there, but you can't see them. They're all covered up. These are huge leaves on these. Look at that. Not my, all the way to the street over there. Not, not, my, not my watermelon plants. And this right here is the nectarine tree that I can't control, that's got a control over me. It's just out of control. And then let's go up front. Look at the front of the property from this side of the driveway. And look at the watermelons coming through between the plants. We got a tansy over there that didn't cut back. I got some salvia back there on the bottom. Then I got some, uh, what are these? Uh, I forget. <laughs> That's an herb. And this is the crepe myrtle that I planted. Instead of the, ap the apricot tree that I took out, I replaced it with that. Then I've got three cannas in front of it. And a big uh, pile of grass that grows about four feet in size. Surrounded by lantanas in a circle. And then we have more of this bee balm. I think it's bee balm. Let me get up here so you can see better from distance. Here we go. That's much better. I'm in the middle of the street practically. And that's another mock orange over here. Looking beautiful. And then you got more vincas with more elephant ears on this side. In front of the... Uh, the round area with the lantana and all this right here behind it. It should look good when it's all grown out. And then I have, this is another uh, tea olive on the corner here that's going to get about 10 feet tall that has that fragrance, real fragrance smell to it. And then I have over here, I had to uncover this because the watermelons were climbing all over it. This is another 
hibiscus bush. <laughs> it's like, they were all over there. I had to rip them off of there. I said, don't you dare choke my little baby. But anyway, there you have it. And that's the Laszlo Bode in Raleigh, North Carolina. Let me do a screen. Look at all the stuff I picked this morning and yesterday. Clean up the yard of anything that comes. Here, the, this from the grapes. But anyhow, this is what you see driving by. And a lot of people stop and say, what in the hell is this? What in the hell is going on over here? We want to see. We want a tour. And this is what they see. It's like, holy moly. What is that? A seating area. We got water fountain in there. Oh my God, look at all the hibiscus. Oh my goodness. And they just keep walking. They stop and they go and they stop and they go. <laughs> and they observe everything they see. They will take it all in. Well, this is not a Hollywood production, but it's next best thing. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoy this. And this is part two. And this is Laszlo's boat from afar in Raleigh, North Carolina. Zone 7, the tropics where you cannot grow cucumbers unless they are mildew resistant. Buyer beware. You'll have a great week and a great month for gardening. Goodbye.